One of the reasons with going with a larger sensor camera is the shallower depth of field between your subject and the background. Here I'm outdoors, bright sunlight, and what I've done is I've used shutter speed and ND filters in each of the cameras that I'm testing here as part of this test to see what type of depth of field you can get. Camera one is a Sony Z1U, which has a very small sensor. It is wide open. Camera two is the Panasonic with a one inch sensor. It is also set to be wide open. And camera three is the JVC LS300 with a Super 35 sensor, also wide open. The LS300 is an interchangeable lens camera, so I'm using a Lumix 14-140 f5.6 lens. I think it's probably about a 6.8 at this point, fully zoomed in at 140 millimeters. And the challenge is, if you're dealing with a subject that will move while you are trying to conduct the interview, will the camera be able to track that focus properly, smoothly, if they're closer or further away? Now this could be if you're in tight on a close-up, or it could be if you're moving along with them, a walking, talking shot. This is a great test because large sensor cameras typically have a bit of difficulty. The LS300 in this test is actually using a lens from about three to four years ago that is not designed for video per se. It doesn't have a very fast motor, so the camera is trying to control a still DSLR lens for video. The Panasonic is supposed to give you a bit less depth of field than the Super 35, but more than the old tiny sensor uh, prosumer camcorders. Now, the question is, does it have problems tracking because of the shallower depth of field? Is it able to track well? And conversely, is the larger sensor giving you a good separation between the foreground and the background with the shallower depth of field? And lastly, looking at the old HDV camera, which is recording externally to ProRes via component, does that camera look awful? Is the depth of field so large that the shot is just, you know, not what we're looking for today? Or is it still comparable to today's cameras? This is a test of Micro Four Thirds versus the one inch sensor in the Panasonic UX180. This camera is the UX180, and this camera is Micro Four Thirds. And these cameras are both shooting this at the same time, same distance from me, and everything. I'm going to take a picture. And for those who think that you have to have a DSLR or Super 35 uh, sized sensor to get separation from your foreground interview subject and your background, this shot, I think, proves that to be an alternate fact. You can indeed and this is without a great separation between me and the camera. I'm literally like three to four feet away from the cameras. And I have decent separation on both of these sensors. And the one end sensor is not demonstrably worse than the Micro Four Thirds, even though the Micro Four Thirds is a much larger sensor. You have to think that at a certain point, you do want some depth of field to keep your subject in focus if they were to move forward and backward while you're interviewing them. That's a critical feature to keep in mind when thinking about going with a large sensor camera. This is J-Log, 4800 Kelvin, ISO 800. Aperture 2.8, B4 lens, Super 35, JVC LS300. Handheld.
This is the Panasonic GH4, recording in 4K, Panasonic 14 to 140 lens in continuous autofocus. Facial recognition is on. Auto focus is tracking.